Hey guys, what's up? Legend Made TV here, where legends go for music discussion, comedy, and more. And today we're talking about the newest album from Justin Timberlake called Man of the Woods. First of all, if you notice something a little odd about me, my voice is a little bit, eh, because I just got over a cold. I'm just really getting over a cold. Not quite over it yet, but I'm getting there and just feel just well enough to make this review. So anyways, here we go. So Justin Timberlake has finally released a new album, five years almost after his big album, the 2020 experience, and two years after his huge hit, Can't Stop the Feeling from the Trolls soundtrack. Wow, can't believe it's already been two years. I quite like Timberlake's music in general. He has a general charm and swagger to his music. In general, I thought his debut album, Justify, was a solid, likable pop record with some good pop singles like Cry Me a River and Rock Your Body, if nothing special. Future Sex Love Sounds came around, and I wasn't really a huge fan of the song Sexy Back. I thought it was really repetitive and pretty annoying, to be honest. But I did really like his follow-up single, What Goes Around Comes Around. I thought that was a nice song. And in general, I thought the songs from the 2020 experience were pretty good as well. But this new album was talked up to being probably his most different to date. And if there's one thing I'll always look forward to is whenever Justin would make a change in his style. Because for the last three albums, him being apart from NSYNC, it's nothing but just different melodies, sure, different vocal patterns, but the same beats. I just hear the same beats in his songs. Like... Seriously, the beats from Mirrors, Crimea River, they all sound like the same beat. There's other examples too, but those are just two ones I just thought of really, really off the back of my head. But when I heard this new album was going to be different, I was definitely intrigued. And sure, the lead single Filthy is different, probably one of the best things I can say about it. The alt-rock flair of the beginning transcending into a glitzy pop beat that I know can turn some people off, but just like Young and Menace, I like it just because of how weird and unique it sounds. It just doesn't sound like anything on the top 40, and I hope it sticks around. Although, the Filthy is not quite nearly as good as Young and Menace, I still think, you know, it's not bad. Unfortunately, hearing rumors that this album was supposed to be a country effort, I went into this song thinking, what the heck kind of album is this going to be? What is this song doing on a country album? Because this song is like funky pop music. This is not even 1% country. But I was optimistic, and I hopped on to Man of the Woods hoping for a good experiment. Was I right? Well, after reading that Justin clarifies this isn't supposed to be a country album, I'm kind of just left scratching my head. Then what kind of album is this? <laughs> we'll get to why that is in a minute, but I'll just get to the review. Overall, while the album presents a number of new production choices and ideas for Justin, many of them don't seem to live up to their potential. I really do like the idea behind a lot of these more stripped back acoustic instrumentation sounding more like country music on this album. Sadly, more often than not, the guitars are too muted and thin and just kind of shoved to the background in favor of these trendy pop beats heavily dominating the mix, just kind of making this album sound processed to heck. Now I get it, that's how corporate pop albums work. They're supposed to be processed, that's how they are. Very processed, perfectly produced sounds to please everybody. But it's especially jarring that the production is this squeaky clean for an album called Man of the Woods. I just thought it would get a little bit grittier, a little bit nastier. And it's not even that the production on this album is bad. I would say it's just kind of middle of the road. Perfectly passable music on this album in terms of the compositions with a few great songs. Those great songs we'll get to in a minute. Unfortunately, this album has one huge problem for me that really cripples it the lyrics. So many of these songs have at least one or two parts that are annoyingly repetitive. I'm not talking average pop song levels of, of repetitive. No, I'm talking this is what you came for levels of repetitiveness, where the chorus or post-chorus is just one sentence repeated over and over and over for like a good 30 seconds. Midnight Summer's Jam is an example of this with many lines being repeated over and over and over throughout this song. The lines, y'all can't do better than this, act like the South ain't the shit, and the most annoying one, it starts at midnight, midnight, with the refrain being mostly tainted by Justin's annoying falsetto when he says midnight, midnight. I find that really grating. If I were to go on about the other songs and pick out their repetitive parts, we'd probably be here all day, so I'm just gonna move on. On the upside, the album is safe from being truly awful with the occasional pretty good song, like Montana, for example. The high energy beat, organic guitars, and just the great vocals from Justin here. Really like this track, it's a really good one. Also, the collaboration with Chris Stapleton was pretty good. Say Something is a really sweet song, honestly. The acoustic production sounds pretty good, and Chris Stapleton's soulful delivery just rocks every time. I really like this feature. Great job, Chris. Aside from that, unfortunately, a lot of this record is just unmemorable. The lyrics are often trite, tediously repetitive, and the production is so overproduced that it just makes this man of the woods what would be an elusive concept to have an album this overproduced because it's sounding like it's supposed to be stripped back because you're in the woods. It's like, it's supposed to be like not this city boy sounding. Literally what it sounds like to me is that guy 
who can't live without his phone or his Wi-Fi trying to go camping for the weekend. It sounds like that guy who's saying he's going camping but has a TV, a microwave, and all those electronics in there. And you know what? I get it. Honestly, that's how I would camp because I don't really care for camping, but that's besides my point. We're not here for my opinion on that, but we're here for my opinion on this album. And honestly, I just don't feel like the concept is done well. I just don't buy that Justin Timberlake really is a man of the woods. And this album is just like, it's just so overdone. Sure, oftentimes Justin is still an impressive vocalist as always, but a lot of times the production will just overclutter him in the mix and just push him aside like tracks like Filthy, even though I did enjoy that one. Not a bad album per se, but just one that as a whole had a decent idea going for it and then just ended up with alright execution at best and then completely botched execution at worst. Yeah, that's really about all I have to say for this thing. A lot of the tracks kind of run together really and I can't really recommend this sadly. I'm thinking a decent to strong four on this thing. Sorry. There's not really much I can come back to. A lot of this record is just pretty forgettable. <sighs> anyway, thank you all for watching my review of Justin Timberlake's new album, Man of the Woods. And I'm glad that I'm finally not as sick anymore. And I'm finally able to make reviews again for you guys. <clears throat> but subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed. Comment down below. Like, up next we got the debut episode of Every Hit Song of an Artist Ranked. That's coming soon. And we also have, uh, I'm going to be doing a catch-up video where I review a bunch of albums and projects I didn't get a review in January. We also have uh, the UK Top 40 Ranked for Winter. That's probably going to be coming soon. Stay tuned for that. And more is also coming soon on Legend Me TV. Subscribe if you enjoyed. Thank you, guys.